to come before our Father to say thank you to Him for the gift of life, to say thank you to Him because we're still counted among the living, to say thank you to Him for His protection, for His guidance, for His love over us generally. It's time for us to come together again as a body of Christ to seek the face of God for the nation, for our family, for ourselves. So I just want us to come before him with a open heart this morning as we are gathered together again in the presence of the Lord. Because the Bible says, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there will I be in the midst of them. Oh. Our gathering together today is not in the name of any man, it's not in the name of anyone, but in the name of the Lord God Almighty. Oh. So I just want you to go ahead and just say something beautiful to him. Bless the name of the Lord, O oh my soul. Let all that is within me bless His holy name. Give Him praise this morning. Worship Him, adore Him. The fact that you are alive, the fact that you are living, the fact that you are well, the fact that nobody has replaced you. Give Him glory. Give Him praise. Give Him adoration. The fact that you are still able to find food to eat. Say something good to Him this morning. Our God is good. Our God. God is great, our God is kind. My Father, my God, I worship you. I worship you, I adore you, I lift you up. Father Lord, I say there is none like unto you. Father Lord, I say there is none like unto you. There is none like you, O God. You are my King, you are my Lord, you are my Shepherd, you are my Guide, you are my Protector. Father Lord, you are the Rock over me. Father, you are the 
one that I lean on. You are my comfort, my Father, my God. I say, be that way exalted, O Lord. Father, Lord, I say, be glorified. Father, Lord, I say, be magnified. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be exalted. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be praised. Father, accept our praises today, O Lord. Accept our worship today, O Lord. Accept our adoration, O Lord, Baba, today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say, be thou exalted. Father, we say, be exalted. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Like I said, our gathering is not unto man, but unto God. So I want you to pray. That in all that we do today, that he alone will be glorified. Amen. No man will be glorified but God. Amen. No situation will be glorified but God. Amen. So begin to ask that the presence of the Holy Spirit will be with each and every one of us, wherever we are, that we are tuned in today. Pray that the Spirit of God will do what only he can do. Even in our midst today, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God. I, I commit God, this service into your hands, O God. Sweet Spirit of the Living God, take over. 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 Take absolute control in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I pray that our gathering today will not be a waste in the mighty name of Jesus. For you, O Lord, we move in your power. You will move in your glory. You will move in your majesty. In the mighty name of Jesus, that no man will be exalted. No situation will be exalted. But only you, the King of kings, will be lifted up high. Only you, the Lord of lords, will be lifted up. Only you, the ancient of days, will be lifted up. As we have come together today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we say be thou exalted, O God. We say be exalted, oh God. Take charge, oh God. Take control, my Father. Take control, my Father. Take control, my Father. Sweet Spirit in mind, take control. Sweet Spirit in mind, take control. Father Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all adoration. Thank you, Father, because we know you are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Come and take your place, O Lord. Come and take your place, O Lord. In my life, come and take your place. Oh, my God. 
asked that the Holy Spirit will move over us again, mm. will empower us, will teach us, will lead us, will guide us. And I pray that the work of the Holy Spirit will be perfected in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Let us get ready to sing some songs of praises unto the Lord this morning. And I want you to sing. I want you to rejoice in the presence of the Lord. I want you to rejoice in the presence of your maker. I want you to give him praise. I want you to give him worship this morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come, let's praise the Lord. Come, let's praise the Lord. Never change from eternity to eternity, he'll be my Lord. So let us praise him, brother of blood. He's the Jehovah, he's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Jehovah Jireh, he's Jehovah Nisi, the man of war. Oh, yes, I'm the 
you to begin to mention the name of Jesus now into every situation, into every circumstance, into all needs. Begin to mention that precious name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Father, to all the situation going on around the world, we call you because your name is Jesus, 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 because your name is is Jesus. Your name is Savior. Your name is Lord. Your name is solution to all problems. Your name is solution to every situation. Ah, Father Lord, I say we have exalted. Thank you for the power in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the power in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O Lord, for the power that is in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I thank you for the power that is in the name of Jesus. Thank you because the name of Jesus is available for me to use at every time. In all circumstance, in all situation, the power that is in the name of Jesus is available for me. And I say be that we exalted, O God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I say be that we exalted, O God. How I love calling your name. Every day, your name is the same. Oh, how I love, how I love, calling your name, oh, calling your name. Every day, every day, your name is the same. So I call you Jesus. Oh Jesus, oh how I love, love calling your name. Oh sweet Jesus, oh my Jesus, oh every day. Every day. Every day. 
every day. Your name is the same. Oh, how I love, how I love, I love calling God your name. Thank you for the power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my God. Thank you, my God. Father, we give you glory. Father, oh, Jesus, Thank you because we are here today because of the name of Jesus. We have been redeemed through that name. We've been called by that name. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. We say be exalted. We say be Amen. glorified. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all. We're going to take our prayers now. And all our prayers will be taken from the, um, the book of Psalm 40. Psalm chapter 40, and I pray that as we cry to him today, that he will hear us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So let us all open our Bible to the book of Psalms. Chapter 40, Psalms 40, verse 1 says, I, wait, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of my slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on the rock and gave me a firm place to stand. The first prayer there is going to be Father, because everyone now in the world they've come to recognize that there is power in the name of Jesus. So I want you to pray that, Father, as I patiently wait for you, hear my cry. As the world patiently wait for you, hear our cry. As I cry to you, as I patiently wait on you for my children, for my husband, for the church of God, for this situation that is going on, Father, please hear my cry. Whatever situation you are crying to the Lord for, it might not even be about the coronavirus, it might be about something personal that you are seeking the face of the Lord for. I want you to cry. That as I patiently wait for you, Father, please hear my cry. In the mighty name of Jesus, let us pray. My Father, my God, as I patiently wait for you, O Lord, as I patiently wait for you, because you are my rock, because you are the one that sets me high on the rock, O Lua. because you are my Father, as I patiently wait for you, my Father, hear my cry, O God. As the world is crying to you at this time, my Father, my God, I pray you will hear us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Patiently, Lord, we are waiting for you. Patiently, we are looking unto you. Father, please hear us, O God. Every time we cry to you, my Father, my Father, my Father, I pray you will hear us, O God. In whatever situation your children are crying to you about, they are patiently waiting because there is no other one that can help us. I have no other power. I have no other hope. I have no other strength. I have nothing but you. My Father, so as I patiently wait for you, I pray you will hear my cry. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Verse 3 says, he put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. Your prayer will be, Father, put a new song in my mouth. Everybody, the song everybody sings, now even if you ask uh, my darling brother Isaac, on the, if he can talk, the only thing he will talk about is coronavirus. It's worldwide, it's like um, a wildfire. That has consumed the whole world. I want you to pray. In this new week as I step into it. Give me a new song. Give me a testimony. Let me sing a new song of victory. Let me sing a song of your power. 
Let me sing songs of victory. Let me sing a new song. I am tired of singing this old song over and over again. Father, put a new song in my mouth. Let us pray. My Father, put a new song in my mouth. I want to sing songs of your deliverance. I want to sing songs of your victory. I want to sing song of healing. I want to sing song of promotion. I want to sing songs of healing. I want to sing songs, O oh Lord Almighty, of your great power. Father, give me a new song. Put a new song in my mouth. Father, put a new song in my mouth. Concerning my children, let me sing a new song. Concerning my spouse, my husband, Baba, let me sing a new song. Concerning your church, faith, chapel, my father, let me sing a new song. Concerning my job, father, let me sing a new song. Concerning my health, oh Lord, let me sing a new song. Father, concerning my finances, let me sing a new song. Concerning my spiritual life, oh Lord, let me sing a new song. I pray that, Father, you will give me a new song, oh God. I am tired of singing the same song over and over again. Let the world sing a new song. Let the nation sing a new song. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. We put our trust in you, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Verse 5 says, Many, Lord, my God, are the wonders you have done. The things you planned for us, none can compare with you. Many are the wonders of the Lord. We, many of it we read in the Bible. Many of it we see with our eyes. Many of it you hear when a friend gives you a testimony of the wonders of the Lord. So I want you to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will say, Father, over all the nations, perform your wonders. Because we need it now. We need the wonders of the Lord now over all the nations, over your family, your loved ones, your extended family, those that you cannot see, except maybe the way you do video chat or something. Those you cannot physically touch like this, I pray that God will perform his wonders in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, perform your wonders in my life. Perform your wonders in the nation. Your wonders of old that we have heard about. Your wonders that we have read about. Your wonders, oh God, Baba, that you have done even in the midst of your children. My Father, my God, I pray all over the nations. All over the nations, my God, my Savior, perform your wonders. Over the nations, my Father, perform your wonders. Over the situation and circumstance that is going on, oh Lord, Father, please perform your wonders. My Father, because only those that, that you save are saved. Only those that you deliver are delivered. My Father, perform your wonders. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. Blessed be your holy name, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Moving further down, in verse 11 it says, we're still reading from Psalm 40. Now verse 11 says, do not withhold your mercy from me, Lord. May your love and faithfulness always protect me. Hmm. Do not withhold your mercy from me. May your love and faithfulness always protect me. I want you to pray. See, the children of Israel, the children of Israel, in, when we read about them, when they sin against God, God will remove his mercy and allow plague to come and torture them. And then they will cry and God will hear and be merciful of them. I want you to pray over you, your family, your children, every member of your household, everyone that is called your family connected to you by blood, by marriage, by anything, I want you to pray that God will not withhold his mercy. That God will not withhold his mercy. He will abundantly pardon in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to cry to him. My father, my father, my father, 
the King of glory, the Lord of lords. Lord, do not withhold your mercy from me. Ah, children, open your mouths and begin to pray wherever you are. Fathers, begin to pray. Mothers, begin to pray. Sisters and brothers, please pray. That God will not withhold his mercy from you. That God will cover you with his truth and with his faithfulness. My Father, my God, I pray. Do not withhold your mercy from me, O God. My Father, my God, do not take your mercy away from me. Do not take your mercy away from my children. Do not take your mercy away from my husband. My sisters, my brothers, wherever they are in their families. My parents. Father, do not withhold your mercy. My Father, my God, I pray your love and faithfulness will protect me. Your love and faithfulness will protect me. In these perilous days, Lord, I pray that your love and faithfulness will protect me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I give you all the glory, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Verse 13 says, Be pleased to save me, Lord. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. <laughs> Be pleased. Let it please you, Father, to save me. Let it please you to save the nations. Let it please you to save those who are dying in their sin. Let it please you, Father, to save us from the, from the power of this coronavirus. Let it please you, oh God. Let it be pleasing to you, Father, to save your world. To save the nation, to save your children. Father, let it please you. Lift up your voice and begin to intercede. Lift up your voice and begin to intercede for the nation. Lift up your voice and begin to intercede for your children. Lift up your voice and begin to intercede for your family. That it will please the Lord to save. That it will please him to save. My Father, my God, be pleased to save me. Father, let it please you, O oh Lord, to preserve me. Let it please you, O oh Lord, to save the nations. Let it please you, O oh God, to save my family. Let it please you to save my sisters and my brothers, O oh Lord, on this platform. My Father, let it please you, O oh God, to save me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, come quickly. Come quickly, Lord. Ah, Baba, come quickly and be our help. Come quickly and be our help. Come quickly, O oh Lord, and be our help. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I want you to view this thing in another eye. The number of occurrence of this thing is climbing. It's not reducing, it's climbing up. You can say, yes, you are in your house. You are covered. You are not going out. See, some of us are still going to work. Some of us still need to go out there to do our daily job. It's what we are called to do. The number of death is rising. It's not reducing. So, if you say you are saving your house, that's fine. But please, I want you to pray for those who are out there. Those who are still working. Those who don't have a choice. Some doctors have died in the line of this work. Some nurses have lost their life because of this. I want you to pray that God will come quick. That he will come quick in his power. That God will come quick and be pleased to save. And be pleased to help. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to cry to him today. My Father, my God, I pray you come quick. Father, come quick, oh God. Father, come quick, oh God. Come and save us. Come and help us. You are the only one we have, oh. We have no other one. So, Father, please come quick to deliver. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Verse 17. The last part of it says, you are my help and my deliverer. You are my God. Do not delay. <laughs> you are my help. You are my deliverer. You are my God. Do not delay. 
There is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. My helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. Yeah, there is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. My begin to cry to him is our helper is our deliverer is our shield is our shade is our God is our rock begin to cry to him not to delay ah do not let it be too late oh God Come to our head, Lord. Come to our head, my God. Come to our head. I have no other helper but you. Come to our head, Lion of the Travel. I have no other one to save me but you. I have no other one to deliver me but you. Come to our head. In this situation, Father, please do not delay. Come quickly, Yoga. Let it please you not to save. Father, do not delay any more, God. Come quickly, my Lord. Come quickly, my Lord. My shepherd. My shade. Father, please do not delay. Do not let your children's hearts be weary, Lord. Do not let them throw in the towel. Do not let them be tired, my Father. Father, send help, O God. Father, I have put an end to this, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Show for the power of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Mato seketo shanda rika 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 riva ba leketo shenderia. Linge re 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 to santa raka to shenderi kari kari ba ba. Inka to sekeri kari ba to shanda raka to senderia ba ba. Father, help us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are in your hands, O God. We are in your hands, O God. Thank you, King of We are in your hands, O God. Thank you, We are in your hands, O God. We are in your hands, O God. We are in your hands, O God. Ah. Mato Santa Rakabato Shetty. Mato Seketo Shanda Rika Riba to Sanda Rababa. Father, we give you all the praise. Blessed the be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, Thank you, most we God. have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He alone will be glorified forever. Amen. 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 I just want us also to do, remember, 
My wife just mentioned those that are in the forefront right now. I want us to just remember them all in our prayers. Uh, doctors have died, nurses have died, uh, people who are taking the paramedics, mm -hmm. who are taking people to the hospital, they are in the forefront. Uh, we all might sit in the comfort of our homes, but the nurses, the doctors, uh, paramedics, uh, the aides, pharmacists, people that uh, we call essential who are performing essential duties. There is really nothing that they can do right now. Yeah. Only God can protect them. All the PPE in this world, we can put them on, but only God can be uh, our protection. So let's just commit them quickly into the hands of the Lord. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you know any of them by name, mention them by name this morning. And just cover them with the blood of Jesus. And pray that no evil will befall them. Okay. And pray that God himself will shield them mm -hmm. from this attack, mm -hmm. from this uh, pestilence. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Father, please, Lord, we hand over to you all the doctors, all the nurses, paramedics, the aides, everyone, Lord Almighty, that is taking care of the sick right now. Father, in Neville, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, we hide them behind the cross of Jesus. We pray that no evil will befall any of them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let's also pray for those who have lost people. That God himself. That God himself will comfort them. That God himself will console them. That the peace of God will be upon them. In the name of Jesus. Father, I never those who have lost people. Father, comfort them, Lord. Let your peace be with them, my God and my King. In the name of Jesus. Let's also pray for those who are sick. That the mighty hand of God will be upon them. By his stripes we are healed. Pray that by his stripes they will be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, most high God. Blessed be your wonderful name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are all welcome into the presence of God again today. Uh, this is uh, 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 like I started with, it's an unconventional time. Oh, no, it was when I was praying with my wife this morning. This is an unconventional time, unconventional time, uh, unconventional situation. Uh, but our God is not a conventional God, He does as He pleases. That's uh, just the thing about the Lord, He does as He pleases. And I'm very sure that he is not sleeping in heaven. I'm very sure he's wide awake. I'm very sure he's acting right now, maybe behind the scene, uh, like uh, that singer uh, says. Uh, I may not see him walking right now. I may not see him doing anything right now. But I know he's there doing it to him, uh, him alone. Be all the glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He will continue to be with us. He will continue to protect us. Amen. And like I prayed this morning, He will act quickly. He will stop this pestilence in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, the, the, our God is a sovereign God. Uh, that means He does what He pleases. He acts anyhow he wants to act. There's no controlling him. Uh, he's not, he doesn't report to anyone. Uh, it's not a, a president that will care about another time in office who so dances to some people's tunes. He's not a governor that uh, or if he does what he pleases. The next time, people might not vote for him. The next election, people might not vote for him. Uh, God does as he pleases. He reigns supreme. There is no questioning him. 
it's a tough time. But the good thing is that even despite the fact that he's a suffering God, um, uh, to my being, there's still what we need to do to seek his attention. There are still things that we can do to make him listen to us when we call upon him. He can choose uh, not to answer. And uh, he can really actually choose not to answer our questions. But there are things that in the past, people of the past have done before that made him to answer them. Even when he does not want to. There are things that we as human beings can do that can make God to answer us. And he will answer us in the name of Jesus Amen. as we continue to stand in the gap, as we pray concerning ourselves. Uh, we stand in the gap for the whole world. We are praying for the whole world right now. Uh, like I shared some weeks ago, uh, if you read the book of, uh, if you read that story rather of the man blind bad news in the Bible, he, he was blind. So he never ever saw Jesus. So we can assume that all the years about Jesus was just hearsay. Things that people around him says, he never saw him. But he heard that he was passing by that day and he called on Jesus. So even the nations that do not recognize Jesus as king right now, but that they have heard of the man called Jesus, all we all need to do now is call on him for mercy, Amen. and he will answer us. Amen. My prayer is that he will answer us quickly, and that we will not delay anymore Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We can quickly read Psalm 115. Psalm 115. Praise the Lord. Amen. There's one particular Bible passage there that talks about the sovereignty of our God. God who acts and acts alone that no man can control. But we are going to read the whole of Psalm 115. Praise the Lord. We are going to read it quickly. I will read and just follow as I read. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but to your name give glory. The psalmist is saying there that the glory, Father, I just take the glory. Do not let any of us, do not let any doctor, do not let any president, do not let any governor, do not let any mayor, anyone anywhere take the glory concerning what is happening. Take all the glory for yourself. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the Gentiles say, so where is their God? Where, why should the Gentiles say, so where is their God? But our God is in heaven. He does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak. Eyes they have, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. Noses they have, but they do not smell. They have hands, but they do not undo. Feet they have, but they do not walk. Nor do they mother through their throat. Those who make them are like them. So is everyone who trusts in them. All Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. All hands of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and they are shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and they are shield. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great. May the Lord give you increase more and more, Amen. you and your children. Amen. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Amen. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the heart he has given to the children of men. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor any who go down into silence. 
but we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I want you to take note of that verse 3 that says, But our God is in heaven. He does whatever He pleases. Take note of that. And then take note of verse 15 that says, May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. And verse 16, The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. But is the heart he has given to the children of men. He has given the heart to the children of men. You are in control. You remember the, uh, the story of creation. The Bible says he gave, uh, after creation, he told men, uh, take over. Take authority. So he has actually given us the control over the earth but things we lost control through some of our actions things that we have done we lost control praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. quickly we are going to go into a story this morning we don't have time to read that bible passage you can read it on your own judges chapter 20 there's a story there a story that when you read it, you'll be wondering hey, well, what the Bible passage was all about. Uh, uh, there, were, the, the, there were two tribes, so twelve tribes. Right? There were twelve tribes to the tribe of Israel. There were twelve of them, and one of them did some abominable things. One of them, the Benjamin tribe, did something terrible. And the, all the other 11 tribes rose up to fight a battle. And I believe right now that what we are fighting is a battle. In fact, several presidents, several world leaders have pronounced this to be a battle. The coronavirus, this pestilence, this plague, they have declared it to be uh, a battle. They have declared it to be a wartime a situation. And we will win in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because the one who has never lost any battle is with us. We are going to win. We are going to overcome in Jesus' name. Amen. But the saints must not keep quiet. There are things that we need to do. There are things that we need to emphasize to the whole world. There are things that we need to let the whole world know that we all need to do to overcome. We will overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. So, the other neither tribes, the other 11 tribes, they decided to win the war against the tribe of Benjamin. Judges chapter 20 is what we are talking about this morning. And the Bible said that there were, I think, about 26,000. When you number the warriors on the side of the Benjamites, there were 26,000 of them. And all the other 11 tribes together, there were 400,000 of them. 400,000 men of war on their side. So, yes, like we have been doing, they called on the Lord before they went to battle. They said, should we go? That was their question. Oh, no, actually, their first, the first time, that the, what they said was that, uh, which tribe? They, it wasn't, the question wasn't that, should we go on this battle? Their question was, which tribe should go? And God said, send the tribe of Judah. They, 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 they've planned, they've executed the war, they have planned the strategy how to win. All they wanted was that, hey, they are greater than these people. Like, uh, some people are saying, upon all the facilities, upon all the brains in the United States, and the deaths kept, kept climbing every single day. Hey, there is no relief. It is because man have not cried enough to God. We have not done what we need to do. And we are going to discuss what we need to do this morning. And we, as many of us have the ability to go out there through your Facebook, through your WhatsApp, send it out there, what we need to do. That is what we are talking about this morning. Yes, we are praying. 
but there are still things that we need to do. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So they said they, they talked to God. They said, which tribe should we send? Yeah, we have more than them. We, we have more brains than them. We have more capacity than them. We have more, more, more men of valor than them. So which tribe? And the Lord answered them. They gave them the answer that they wanted. Go send the tribe of Judah. So they said, the Bible record, reported that they, they sent the tribe of Judah. And I think about 20 something thousand of them fell to just small Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin. And the Bible said they went back to God and they cried to God. They wept. Shall we go? That was their question again. And God said, go again. And they went and they fell again. They cried to God, yet they suffered defeat. Why were they suffering the, the defeat? So the third time now, the Bible said they now they cried to God again. They wept. They fasted. They were not fasting before. When they now that they fasted, that time that they were praying, they did not pray the first time. They did not pray the second time. All they did was we are greater than these people. We have more men than these people. We have more hospital oh, that can take care of any coronavirus. Our scientists are the best in the whole world. That is what we are boasting about now. No man is boasting about the power of God. No one is boasting about the potency of the blood of Jesus. Until man gets to that point, our case will remain like the case of the 11 tribes of Israel. May our case not be like that in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So the second, that second time, I think they lost about the, the second time. They lost a ten thousand warriors. So the third time now they went to God and they cried to Him. They wept. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. May we not see the Lord in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says that they wept. They cried to God. They cried to him. They fasted. That meant that they prayed. And then they offered, the Bible says they offered a bond offering and a sin offering. And that's where we are going this morning. They offered a bond offering and a sin offering. The difference between, I'm going to, the emphasis is going to be on the bond offering. The bond offering the difference between it and every other offering is that it is completely burnt. All the other offerings, if you look back in the book of Lepticus, where uh, well, all the, the priests are supposed to offer these offerings, uh, where it, they are described, eh? it's the only one that the priest does not take any from. The offerer, the person who is bringing the offering, doesn't take anything from it. It's completely burnt. It's completely to God. And that was what they did that day. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they got their victory. We are going to get our victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, quickly, we are going to, I'm going to be skipping. If time permits, there are some other days we are going to go to this. So let's go quickly to the purpose of the burnt offering. The the burnt offering is not an offering for specific sin. It's a recognition. That's the first one. If you are taking notes, that's the first one. It's it's not for specific sins. It's just a recognition that of our sinfulness, of the sinfulness of the world. If you remember also, uh, that was the first offering that Noah gave when the heart rested. The Bible says they offered offering of clean, of clean animals. It was a burnt offering. What was demanded of Abraham when he sacrificed his son was a burnt offering. If you go back to your Bible and go and read your Bible, thank God. His name be praised forever because what he has done now, what he did on the cross of Calvary, is to give us a replacement for the bottle offering. 
that was what he did. And that's an, something that we all need right now to communicate to the whole world. We, are, we need constant intercession. And the only link between him and us is Jesus Christ, the one who was offered on the cross of Calvary. That is the only way we can approach him. And that is why uh, we need to connect to that bond offering, the offering he made. Every man all over the world right now, we need to make that connection. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It's a recognition of our sinfulness. And the only way we are not asked to go and offer booths anymore, we are not offering turtle doves anymore. The offering has been made. All you need to do is accept Christ as your Lord, as your, your Savior. When you accept Him, it is only through Him that we can get to God. We need intercession, and the only one who can do that intercession effectively is Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What does the 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 offering the uh, the offering uh, uh, does? Is allow us to approach God. God is particular about how he's approached. That is number two. That's the second point. We can only approach God in accordance with the means established by him. We do not make rules for him. He said the rules. We can only come to God through Jesus. We can only come to him through Jesus. John chapter 14 verse 6 says, And the way, the truth, and the life no one comes to the Father except through me. It is why you, we must accept Christ, that sacrifice that was made, the burnt offering that was made on our behalf. No other way is acceptable to God except through faith in Jesus. And until the world, whole world come to time with this, we will continue to fight our battles by ourselves. Praise the Lord. Number three, quickly. That other offering, the burnt offering, seal our acceptance with God, makes us acceptable to God. John chapter 1, verse 12. He gave the right to as many that are accepting, He gave the right to become children of God. He gave us the right to become His children. You can feel good about yourself. But you are wasting your time if God doesn't feel good about you. That sacrifice make him feel good about you. Once you accept that the sacrifice has been made on your behalf, it makes God feel good about you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Accepting Christ's death leads to our own death in Christ. We can only gain acceptance by God when we become dead to self. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Number four, it sets our identity in Christ. We can identify with Christ. We are redeemed. An atonement is made when we identify ourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ in his death, burial, and resurrection. Until we identify ourselves with Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ in his death and his burial and his resurrection, there is no redemption. There is no atonement. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Only our identity in Christ delivers us from the judgment that we deserve. Mm. Galatians 2.20 Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. Your acceptance of that sacrifice, that burnt offering that was made on your behalf, will make you dead in Christ. And when you are dead in Him, you live in Him. Praise the Lord. Okay. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7, In Him we have redemption through His blood. The forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Number five, quickly. The burnt offering teaches about giving all to God. Because you must give the best. The Bible will read about a specification for the blood burnt offering. It must be an animal that is in the prime of his uh, life. That means you have fed this animal. You have taken care of this animal. It is time for this animal now to deliver for you. To make you a rich man. To start bearing fruits. To start maybe if you are planning to use that animal to plow all your field. To, 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 to as a farmer. That is the animal that the Lord is demanding for the bond sacrifice. For the bond offering. So it teaches us about giving all to God. A very valuable animal is given totally to God. Totally to God. The priest, like I, I described before, is not even allowed to take, unlike all the other sacrifices, where the priest can take some, uh, the person who offered can take some. It is a total offering unto God. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We tend to give our leftovers to God. We are called to give up all to follow Jesus, just as he gave up all to die for our sins. We are to count the cost of being his disciple and gladly pay whatever the cost is. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. The Bible teaches us to give ourselves as a living sacrifice unto God, acceptable sacrifice unto him. Giving all to him says you are relying totally on him. Giving all means allow him to undo all for you. You are not depending on your own intelligence. You are not depending on the number of men that you have to fight the war for you. You are not looking at how, how, how good you are, how knowledgeable you are. You are not looking at how many scientists you have. You are not looking at the number of resources. You know what we are doing now is we are throwing money. Uh, uh, I think about two or three bills have been passed now by the United States House. We are throwing money at the coronavirus. The more, the more money we are throwing, the more resources we are throwing, throwing, the more people are dying. That should tell somebody that we need to be on our knees. We need to try to God. We need to accept Christ. It's not only trying to try, yes, the people can cry to God, people can talk to Him, but it is also a time to accept that offering that has been made. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The children of Israel handed over the battle to God. That whole time, what they were doing was they were handing over the battle. They recognized the sovereignty, they recognized that only God can do this, that there is no way. There's no power of their own that they can exercise, that they can, that can take care of the issue that confronted them. They called upon the King of Kings. They called upon the Lord of Lords. They offered the sacrifice to him. Uh, the good thing is that that sacrifice has been done for us. All we need to do is just accept. Just accept. Just accept. Israel became victorious will become victorious also mm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Begin to thank the Lord this morning. Yes. Begin to thank Him for, for that bond offering that He has made on your behalf. Begin to thank Him for Jesus Christ. Begin to thank Him for Jesus Christ. Thank Him. Bless His name. Give God all the glory. Pray that mankind, that mankind all over the world at this time, that we will fully accept the gift of Jesus will fully accept the sacrifice that he has made for us. Pray that this that uh, this will be an avenue for the name of Christ to be proclaimed all over the world. Pray that revival will begin to happen all over the world in the name of Jesus. Pray that the revival will start from your own household. Revival will start from your own heart in the name of Jesus. Talk to God this morning. Pray that mankind will fully accept that sacrifice that has been made on our behalf in the name of Jesus. 
pray that God himself will look at the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary and he will rise up and save us. He will rise up and save us in the name of Jesus. Pray that he will rise up. Pray that he will save us in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to talk to him. Begin to talk to him that this war against coronavirus, that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords himself will arise on our behalf in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In number, if that is what is to be considered, the children of Benjamin stood no chance against the other 11 tribes. We are not relying on the CDC. We are not relying on the WHO. We are not going to rely on any government in any part of the whole world. We are not relying on any of the scientists. Our hope is in Christ Jesus for victory. We are going to cry to God, Father in heaven, we rely on you. Deliver us. Save the world from this attack. Save the world from this pestilence. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Talk to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this morning. Eternal Rock of Ages, we are depending on you. We are not depending on any scientist. We are not depending on the CDC. Every of the things that they have done have failed already. We are not depending on the WHO, my God and my King. We are not depending on the government. Father, we are depending upon you. Save us, my God and my King. Move in your power. Deliver us, Shitana Rock of Ages. Deliver us, ancient of this. Deliver us, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Thank you, most high God. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. If you look at Judges chapter 20, verse 35, the Bible, Bible that story about uh, the, the, the 12 tribes of Israel that we have just talked about. The verse 35 says that the Lord defeated Benjamin before Israel. The Lord himself it wasn't the men of battle. It wasn't the chariots. It wasn't their spears. It wasn't their swords. It, the men, the Bible says the Lord defeated Benjamin before Israel. We are going to pray, Father in heaven, because we are trusting in you, because we are depending in you. Father in heaven, defeat this virus from before us. Defeat this virus before us. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And if your own enemy is not coronavirus, perhaps you are in the, the corner of the world where the coronavirus uh, have not started waging. I pray for you that it will not get near you in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So whatever the world that you are fighting in your own corner of the world, begin to talk to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this morning. The Bible says the Lord de defeated Benjamin before Israel. Pray, mention that specific battle that you are fighting. I pray that the Lord Himself would defeat that enemy for you, the other enemy before you, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, defeat my enemies before me. Father, defeat my enemies before me. Defeat my enemies before mm -hmm. me, in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Most High God. Blessed be your wonderful name. My God and my King, Creator of heaven and of earth, we thank you, Most High, for today. We thank you, Dana Rock of Ages, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father, in heaven, what a very difficult time we are living in right now. Father, in heaven, we thank you, Lord Almighty, for the provision of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died as a bond sacrifice for us, an offering to atone for our sin, an offering so that man can be redeemed back to you. Father, we are grateful for this. At this time, Lord Almighty, you commit every man, every woman, Lord Almighty, into your hands, of the creation of your hands. We pray eternal rock of ages, the Lord Almighty, through this, that revival will start in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. That men, Lord Almighty, who have resisted, resisted you so far, that Lord Almighty, they will run to you at this time for deliverance in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father in heaven, King of kings and the Lord of lords, again we pray. All the bad, blind bad news had was you passing by. He had that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by and he cried for mercy. Father, Lord God, even in the nations that do not know you, while they have heard about you, 
Father, Lord God, please have mercy. Have mercy over every nation. Have mercy over every country. Have mercy over every mankind, over every continent. Put an end, Lord Almighty, to this warfare in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in never King of kings and the Lord of lords, let that be revival in every home, in every heart, in every country, in every nation, in the name of Jesus. Father, let man, Lord Almighty, run to the foot of the cross at this time. And as we come, Lord Almighty, Father, I never please, Lord Almighty, accept us in Jesus' name. As we come, eternal rock of ages, answer our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. King of kings, and the Lord of Lords, mighty warrior, eternal rock of ages, we pray again for as many as are sick right now. Father, Lord God, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, there is nothing too hard for you, Lord, to do. There is nothing too difficult for you. Father, in heaven, please, Lord, touch them in Jesus' name. Amen. King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, heal them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in heaven, we thank you. Thank Father, you. Lord God, and as many as are Trusting in you, Father, in heaven. Father, Lord God, please be their shield in Jesus' name. Amen. We cover everyone, Lord Almighty. I can hear me this morning. Cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. Of we pray Jesus. that that blood will shield each and everyone from evil and from danger Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in heaven, we thank you. Thank we you. bless your name. Amen. Please, Lord, make every crooked place to be straight for us. Amen. Exalt every valley. Amen. Make every mountain to be leveled ground, Amen. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you most time for answers to our prayers. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you all for joining. My prayer is that the power of God will continue to be with each and every one of us. Amen. And as many of us as are considered essential workers that are going out, out there, I pray that the blood of Jesus will cover each and every one in Jesus' name. Amen. We will not be susceptible to this attack in the name of Jesus. Amen. We become immune in Jesus' Amen. name. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you are giving your tithe and your offering today, go to rccgfaithchapel.org rccgfaithchapel.org to give your tithe and your offering. The Lord himself will bless you uh, from the pocket from which the money is coming. The Lord himself will continue to bless. The Lord himself will continue to enlarge your coast in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You will not suffer any loss at this difficult time in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I want to also say, I know I sent out a message. Um, did I send out a message or I just spoke to a couple of people? We have, actually we have an app that we just did not use, it's been there. Uh, it was linked to our website. Once you have that website, we, once we, we activated that website, the app also was created. It's called My Church. Like, uh, if you have Android or you have iOS, you can, you can download the app. It's called My Ch Church, and then it will ask you which church. When you download the app, uh, you active, want to activate it to ask you which church, just type in Redeem Christian Church of God Feed Chapel and you get to our app. So you can do your giving this morning through rccgfaithchapel.org. The Lord will bless you. Mm -hmm. The Lord himself will increase you. Mm -hmm. The Lord will protect you from all evil and from all danger mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Your home will be a land of Goshen mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. No pestilence will visit you mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. In the name of the Father, mm -hmm. in the name of the Son, mm -hmm. and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Mm -hmm. I share the, praise, the grace. I share the grace and fellowship. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us.